Statesman quarterback Micah Davis and his basketball playing sister Ann Shelby have continued the long line of family members that have attended Delta State University. For Micah, the decision to come to Delta State was an easy one. For the most part, you know, I love the coaches up here. They did a great job recruiting me and you know, the atmosphere around here in the town. It's, it's just a good place to be. The recent success of the Statesman football team factored into his decision to attend Delta State. Micah knew the football team would be successful, but playing in the national championship during his first season exceeded his expectations. Oh, yeah, I, I, well, you know, I've heard of Coach Roberts, him being – I guess when it was his third year when he was recruiting me, he'd already won two GC championships. And I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't not think it, but I, you know, I never did think it'd be this good. For Ann Shelby, her decision to attend Delta State was partly based on her big brother and also the tradition of Lady Statesman basketball. You know, it was, it was a little bit of it because you know having a big brother here is you know something I look forward to, but you know also tradition. So right. for basketball here is really big. And, you know, that's pretty much why I wanted to come here and join that tradition. It's that tradition that has Ann Shelby excited for her future in the green and white. Maybe a little bit, but it's more exciting than pressure because, you know, that's something that we get to look forward to happening too because Coach Russian is going to push us just as hard as she pushed all of her other teams. And, you know, we hope, hopefully we'll have as good of success as they have. With any success can come pressure, and Micah understands the importance of carrying on the legacy of the statesman quarterback position. I just know I know that they've had good quarterbacks here in the past, and I, I kind of had to carry on the legacy with that and following um, Scott Eister and Garrett DeWitt and all of them putting up big numbers and you know having winning winning game winning seasons. And I just knew uh, you know we had to do the same thing if I was the quarterback. Following her arrival in Cleveland, and Shelby felt a bit lost, but who better to turn to than her big brother? I guess some advantage would be you know. He's had some of the same like classes I have. He can help me out with my teachers. And at the beginning of the year, I was pretty lost when I got here. I'm not gonna lie. And so he was there to help me out. But I can always go over to his house and hang out with them when I want to get out of the dorm. Or I don't really think there's any disadvantages. I mean, I like having him here. <laughs> Although Micah can be a protective big brother, he understands, and Shelby needs to figure out life as a student athlete on her own. That, there's always that, you know, sense of urgency you have to have with your little sister. And I don't, you know, I don't want nothing bad to happen, but I'm kind of giving her her own little space to let her do her own thing. But, you know, if that ever happened, you know, I'm always there. And Shelby can also be protective watching her brother play football along with the rest of the Davis family. I get real nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think we all do up there, kind of just what happens, but... More than anything, I get nervous. You see him get down, you kind of get mad at first because he got hit so hard, but after that, you know, he always gets back up and does what he's supposed to do. After seeing her competitive nature as children, Micah is hoping that same toughness comes out on the hardwood. No, not really. I try to get her to be rougher as she, you know, <laughs> get a little, you know, meanness in her. You know, back, when we played in the backyard, it was a foul wasn't caught, the blood was drawn, so I mean, she has that mentality, she's going to be all right. Growing up, there wasn't anything these two wouldn't compete at, whether it was playing sports or bringing home good grades from school. We would, we would always throw football with each other, you know, baseball, softball. Uh, um, I, I think we raced a couple times. I know we'd get on the trampoline and see who can do the better flips. Uh, yeah. I heard of the diving board, who can do the better flips. Uh, I know we used to get out, we'd go out in the front yard, we'd stick out four plates. We play like a little baseball in the front yard with our hand. I know that got pretty bad sometimes. Who would win? Definitely me. You think? <laughs> uh, sometimes. I mean, you know, Grandma used to give us like ten dollars for good, uh, great reports. You know, if one of we both had to get it. If not, we were going to talk crap to each other. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you get report cards at the same time. You lay them down the table. <laughs> look at them. I mean. We both made pretty good grades, so it was always a good little matchup. <laughs> Although the two sometimes share a sibling rivalry, and Shelby occasionally feels inclined to give her brother relationship advice. Uh, you know, I guess here and there for some stuff, and I really don't know to be Girl honest. stuff? <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, like Ryan, Jenna, Christmas <laughs> present, and birthday present. Yeah. He asked for like an opinion on what she would want for Christmas, you know, I'm just like, Jenna. What you want for Christmas? Oh, and you're real secretive I go, about I go find out. <laughs> for this little sister, support will come whether it be in medical school, 
or watching her brother quarterback the Statesman to another national championship game appearance in Florence, Alabama, where these two best friends met for the very first time. I'm going to support him. You know, he's wanting to get into medical school. I hope he does, but, you know, I hope they finish the season out with a national championship this year, too.